What is going on guys and welcome back to the garage. This is Motorstar signing in. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing video of the Simpson Ghost Bandit. Yes, this thing is Woodland Camel. I cannot wait to see what it looks like in person. This thing dropped, I wanna say a few weeks ago, picked it up the same day that Simpson released it, actually grabbed it from Simpson themselves. Didn't wanna run the risk of, of losing out on picking up a limited edition Simpson helmet. We're just back here in the garage. We got everything cleaned out. If you guys could kind of see, we got no kid in the garage today, but we got my dog, Augie. Augie, say hi, boy. <laughs> just got off work early. None of the kids are home yet from school, so figured I'd come out here and do this. We've been kind of adding a little bit more room for activities, putting the kids' bikes up in the rafters and stuff, but I still got my corner. So let's roll this intro and get on with today's unboxing video of the Simpson Ghost oh, Bandit. Work, work. Bang it on. All right, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another video. If you are new to the channel, I bring you along with me as I merge my passions for photography and motorcycles. So if you like anything photography or motorcycle related and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button below. And while you're at it, don't forget to ring that bell icon to receive email alerts when I upload some new content. So I'm pretty excited about this helmet, guys. I mean, this thing, like I said, it did drop less than two weeks ago, picked it up the same day within like 20 minutes of Simpson dropping this on their website. So never really had a helmet that is this new on the market. You know, and as you guys can see doing this unboxing video, Simpson is real kind of basic with their packaging, right? You know, um, not too much going on inside. You get the helmet. I did pick up a gold mirror visor because I think it's gonna, you know, look really really good on this helmet can't wait to get that visor put on there but back to the box true american legend you can follow them on instagram at simpson underscore motorcycle underscore helmets what else teamsimpson.com i actually like i said i did order it through them first time dealing with simpson directly normally i go through my good friends over at get lowered cycles when i'm purchasing helmets or any gear or anything for my harley however today we got this straight from simpson let me just tell you guys the customer service from Simpson directly is unmatched. So let's let's get this thing out of this helmet bag and really look at the amazing graphics that are on here. guys welcome to the fun part of today's video with the simpson ghost bandit we are about to get into my first impression of the helmet and i figured why not do this piece of the video on the bike now i'm sorry for the one angle guys i don't have anything mounted on this helmet yet but you know i did just pull it out the box so this is the first time that i'm riding with this helmet threw the gopro hero 8 up on the bars and decided to come on out here and enjoy a little bit of ride and bring you guys my first impressions of this helmet if you guys have been around the channel for a while you know that i have two other helmets i have the simpson outlaw bandit which i got before i decided i wanted to start motovlogging then i was lucky and blessed by winning the Rorock atlas core 1.0 so i've had that helmet for quite some time now and i do both as far as motovlogging with those helmets i use them both i was using my outlaw bandit when i was doing my dual vlogs with the kids and then my Rorock is kind of like my summertime helmet. So did I really need another helmet? No, like probably not. But when I saw Simpson was about to drop this Cypress in Woodland Camo, I was like, I feel like Simpson really, really is trying to get more of my money. Like felt like they specifically targeted me with this helmet. Now that's not the case, but you ever like go somewhere and somebody's talking and you swear they're talking directly at you. When they posted this helmet, I felt like they might as well just tagged me because it was going down. I shot my wife a text and was like, hey, I need this. And her response was, yes, you do. So if you guys 
have, you know, a significant other, you know sometimes when it comes to mods or it comes to motorcycle gear, you're always kind of on the fence. Like, do I do it and just ask for forgiveness later? But I've been married for a long time and I know that forgiveness later kind of takes a while. So <laughs> I hit her up and she was like, yes, you need it. Ordered it as soon as it dropped. I'm talking maybe 15 minutes after it dropped. Now, like I discussed earlier, I did order a medium first because I do wear a medium in the Outlaw Bandit and, you know, I thought that was going to be fine. Everything Simpson says is that the Ghost is a little bit narrower and longer of a helmet. And I was like, well, I mean, it should be okay. No, guys, like, I'm telling you, the medium was really long as far as, like, where the cheek pads sat. They didn't even really touch my cheeks. And I had a lot of room in, like, the temple area of my head which allowed the helmet to spin and I was like you know what that's a little bit too big once I get up to speed on the interstates or something like that that helmet's probably going to be sliding all over the place so I contacted Simpson before returning the medium because I didn't want to lose out if the small was way too small and they sent me the small and the medium went back guys small was the right size for me now I normally do wear a size medium helmet in everything that I own the Raw Rock is a medium the Outlaw Bandit is a medium even my hats you know are seven and a quarter so everything you see online they say by medium wasn't the case for me guys if you normally wear like an intermediate oval in a medium but you're going to the ghost bandit you might want to either one try to find a spot where you could go try it on because i'm telling you it's going to fit a little bit different or kind of jump on the grenade a little bit and uh either take the chance and just order the smaller size and see if it fits or order both and return one i mean simpson doesn't charge you any restocking fees if i just did the medium and went with it i probably would have been unhappy a few months down the road when it was just all over the place now one thing i do like with simpson is because with the ghost bandit it is like from the small medium and large all the sizes the, the shell sizes are different however when you order a medium or a small let's say you could ask them to ship you different internal cheek pads that are specific for that shell size. So I could run a small plus or minus five millimeters on the cheek pads and kind of give myself a little bit more room or take away some room in the helmet. So if you're in between sizes, you could always do that too. It's kind of nice to do that, but just keep in mind with the Ghost Bandit, the pads are size specific. Now, as far as some of my first impressions of this helmet, this is a lot lighter than my Outlaw Bandit. Is it lighter than my Rorock? No, but I haven't thrown it on the scale to see how much heavier it is than my Rorock. I don't really think it's that much of a weight difference between the different helmets. Now, I don't have any of the additional, I'm gonna turn here, we almost missed the turn. I like this little back road. I don't have any of like the Cardo or GoPro or anything like that on here. So talking about weight is a little bit skewed right now but it is really light. Even one of my neighbors came over and he doesn't ride, but he picked up the helmet. And he's like, man, that's really light. And he's, he's right. I mean, the Ghost Bandit, I would say, out of the box is a lot lighter than the Outlaw Bandit. Now, as far as safety ratings go for the Ghost Bandit, it is DOT and ECE rated. And if I remember correctly, if I'm wrong, guys, let me know in the comments. But if I remember correctly, my Outlaw Bandit is DOT and Snell. So, when I was kind of looking at the different price points, I'm like, well, why is it that the Outlaw and Ghost are around the same cost, right? But with the Ghost, I feel like you get so much more for your money. Like one thing is you get this internal visor that as you can see, it's still trying to figure out how to use it, but you get the internal visor. You have the ability to open and close Harley Davidson Road. That's pretty tight. Sorry guys, you guys can't see it because you're facing me, but that little street sign said Harley Davidson Road pretty cool but you get to close and open the vents you know up front and with the simpsons you see this like vein predator type look looks great but when you run in a motor vlog channel those vents just add wind noise to your microphone and it kind of does suck having the ability to close those off i am hoping that it's going to help my audio on the channel we'll see you know time will tell once i get everything set up in here and we start riding and vlogging as much as i want to do but i do like that feature the pads in the Ghost Bandit, I would say, are a hundred times better than the pads that are in my Outlaw Bandit. I do like the Outlaw. It's still comfortable. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to wear it. My wife's even going to wear it because we're, we've been doing some lunchtime dates, guys, where we go out on the diner, hit a place to eat. Just me and her, which is, it's well needed. 
especially with five kids. Having some, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with the wife is great, and she's enjoying riding a bike, guys, so <laughs> it's kind of cool. Now we got two cents that we can ride in style on our lunch breaks. The padding in the Ghost Band, it feels kind of like that Under Armour moisture wickening material. Feels like it's gonna hold up a lot better. It's not gonna get as gritty as the pads in my Outlaw has. And I think, you know, during these summer months, it's gonna help a little bit. It's not gonna get as moist inside the helmet that I'm used to in both the Rurock and the, the Outlaw. Now, breathability of this helmet, right now I'm cruising at about 40 miles an hour. I did earlier get up around 50, 60 miles an hour and I could feel some airflow coming in over the top of my helmet or top of my head. It does also have venting up top and then some passive vents in the back to allow that exhaust kind of go through the helmet. But I think this is gonna be a fairly, you know, year round helmet for me. Just because I could open and close the vents, it has a chin curtain underneath so I could kind of get away from the wind updraft that I get a lot since I've installed the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing, which again will help my audio, I'm hoping. And then two, just this look of this helmet, guys. I mean, I could not pass it up. Can you guys even, can you see me though? Like, <laughs> we got trees in the background. I'm sure I just disappear if I don't move. No, oh, you can still see me. <laughs> yeah. I really like this Woodland camo look. I mean, I think it's, it's unique, it's different. Decided to go with the gold mirrored visor that you guys could see now. You know, that wasn't in the unboxing. Doing the visor replacement is super easy because it's toolless. It has these divide, this little clip thing here that you press down on and the visor pops out and then you throw it back in there. So super easy to replace the visors. Didn't record it because I figured if I tried to record it, it probably wouldn't be simple and I'd make an ass of myself. So I just did it. But yeah, guys, it is easy to swap visors out on the Ghost Bandit. The Outlaw Bandit, you have to have a screwdriver. My Rurock 1.0, I have to have their specific tool. But with the 2.0s on the Rurocks, I know they went with that tool list. So if you guys are looking at the Rurocks, they're great helmets too, guys. Like, I love all of my helmets. This isn't going to be like, hey, the Outlaw's better, or the Ghost is better, or the Rurock. I really enjoy all of my helmets. Now, I will probably eventually kind of put them all up against each other once I get adequate amount of miles on the ghost bandit that i could kind of you know tag them against each other before that i might do like the outlaw versus the rurock atlas core because i feel like those are more close in regards to the helmet this one has a lot more to it i think i'm gonna really enjoy to be honest this internal visor didn't think i would but i ride a lot during the day and not having to worry about having sunglasses on inside my helmet i think i'm gonna enjoy it one thing i didn't mention also too is the visor guys is pin lock ready so i got the gold mirror visor i could pick up like some darker smoke pin locks to even you know cut out even more sunlight when i'm riding or i could do clear i might end up doing like an internal clear visor just in case you know when i'm outside and i'm riding and it gets dark open up this external visor and plop down the internal visor and i'm good still got you know protection of my eyes and don't have to worry about pulling over and either swapping visors or throwing on some clear eye pro I'm excited for this helmet. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm very excited that I got this helmet, man. <laughs> like, ah, uh, man, when I was a kid, it was all about hats. And now that I'm older, it's, I guess it's all about helmets for me. Didn't realize I have like this addiction, but uh, it definitely was a lot cheaper as a child to put things on my head. Now, <laughs> it, it kind of hurts a little bit, but I think I'm done buying helmets. I think I finally found the one that I want for the channel for the ride, for moto vlogging, just my all around use. You know, like when I got the Outlaw Bandit, didn't really have the intentions to start moto vlogging, like I said, but uh, now that I do it, I like to have a helmet that has a little bit more protection against the elements with the wind, I should say. Now the Ghost, it still does whistle. I do have some little bit of whistle in the back that I'm getting, but it's not as bad as my Outlaw Bandit. The Outlaw Bandit is really loud, guys. My Rurock, I would say, is quieter than my Outlaw Bandit. But so far, from what I've been riding, this one seems like it's gonna be the best as far as protection against the wind. Except for when I have like this crazy side draft and then chicken truck trying to chase me down as I talk with my hands. Yeah, so before I go though, I did want to, you know, give kudos to Simpson because I did actually order this helmet, like I said earlier, straight from them. And 
I don't know why, like, I was thinking that it was gonna, you know, not be as smooth as if I ordered from, like, Get Lowered or some of the other companies out there. Um, but they, their customer service was incredible. Like, I called in and placed the orders because I wanted to make sure I was getting the right thing. The visors, you know, even when I had the issue with the medium being too big and I called them, they're like, hey, you know, why don't you just order the small? We'll send you this document you have to fill out and send back. But they'll take back the one with no restocking fees. They even waived, you know, the shipping costs on the second helmet. So really it's almost like they paid for me to send back one of them. So their customer services is on point guys. Like really enjoy doing business with them. If I wasn't a lifelong customer already, I would be after that experience with them. But looking forward to, you know, throwing down some miles on this helmet guys and bringing you a review later. But as you know, like my reviews, I make sure I throw down adequate miles. If you guys liked today's video, be sure to click that like icon. Like always, guys, I really do appreciate your support. Thank you for tuning in to another video. And this is Motosart signing out. Hey,